the, the filtration of the sample is very important before you can go to um, start the separation for example it is uh, highly recommended we don't want to say obligatory but it's um, it's highly it is highly recommended because sometimes you can find some uh, some uh, uh, samples that are that they don't use to be filtrated but if you can just uh, you will not waste your time but if you have some problem for example if you uh, plug the column sometimes if your sample if is not uh, well soluble or if it is for example there are some particles inside it so here uh, my sample is very dark but there is no particles inside it but if we see here for this one you see here we have some particles right here yes we have here some particles uh, if you can use a syringe and the filter then you will be sure that you will not make any problem you will not encounter any problem during the process also the amount of uh, the sample that you inject here you don't have to start sometimes with a big amount it's better to start with uh, well basically here we are using a big syringe you, uh, one ml but we don't inject one ml <laughs> we inject around uh, uh, 50 microliter sometimes you can go to 100 and uh, 150 and as uh, as time as you are um, as long as you are um, experimenting for example you can control the pressure right the pressure if the pressure gets increased with uh, with unexpected uh, manner so at this moment you need to be more aware right because the, the pressure that you can use here it is around uh, this is the maximum pressure 250 sometimes if the compounds the sample that you are injecting here still contain some particles uh, or some precipitates it will plug the column right if you plug the column and everything will stop so for this moment you need to be more aware or you can for example uh, try to um, if you can yeah you can play on the flow rate instead of 15 ml you can go to 10 7 ml if the problem is still persistent then you need to stop everything and wash the column with uh, different solvents you can wash it with methanol then you can go to the isopropanol yes and you can also use the the tetrahydrofuran because um, it, it can dissolve a lot of the, a lot variety of stuff the tetrahydrofuran but the isopropanol also it's very good because he has uh, a high viscosity when you inject it of course uh, the the pressure will be increased then it, it can move uh, a lot of uh, stuck material in your color 